As shown in our first tutorial, some intervals are considered stronger than others, and you might be wondering why this is. It all comes down to simple science, and if you're more into music production than music theory, then what we're about to show you could really open your eyes. A saw wave is a waveform containing every single harmonic, and here we're playing a C3 note. If we use a frequency analyzer, we can see the notes of individual harmonics. We can even listen to the harmonics using a bandpass filter, and Voxengo's span includes one. Let's map out the first six harmonics as MIDI notes. We end up with C3, C4, G4, C5 E5 and G5 Now take a look at each successive pair of notes. We get these intervals. 12 semitones between C3 and C4, making an octave. 7 semitones, that's a perfect fifth, from C4 to G4. A perfect fourth, 5 semitones, from G4 to C5. Now the major third, with 4 semitones from C5 to E5. Next the minor third, 3 semitones from E5 to G5. So it turns out that hiding inside the saw wave's first six harmonics are the five strongest musical intervals. And if we play all those notes together, we hear a major chord. In this case, C major, because we used a C note as our starting point. For one final twist, let's have a look at the next harmonic. It's notes A sharp. Now we have a C7 chord. Now we can see that the intervals used in music have not been chosen at random but are based on natural harmonic ratios. While there's always going to be an art to making music, many of the core principles are firmly rooted in science and mathematics.